What's up everybody, JC with Stoner Car Care. Today we're talking about beating versus sheeting, which is actually a very difficult topic to talk about. I thought it should have been a science video, but Skylar said it's a versus video, so let's get after it. If you're curious about the science and the really in-depth discussion on this, check out our videos on hydrophobic versus hydrophilic versus oleophobic, and there's also how to get the, how to get the best beads video that goes deeper into this. But real quickly, when we're talking about beading versus sheeting, remember if you have, on, on most of this windshield, we have a uh, rain repellent coating, which is a hydrophobic coating, which creates a low energy surface on this glass. Now you can do this on the paint as well, we'll show that later. When there's a low energy surface there, the bonds within the water beads are the stronger force. They're pulling on themselves, creating these nice spherical round beads that then can fly off the windshield very nicely, very easily. In the middle here in this section, we just took our, our glass stripper to take all the coatings off. And what you're left with is the kind of raw OEM glass. And that naturally is a bit hydrophilic. So what's happening there is the bonds would rather go to the surface, that higher energy surface, and the water wets out. And you could call this a form of sheeting. Uh, a little bit of water will flatten out a long way and has no problem just sitting on that surface. On film sometimes, it looks like this is actually clearer and easier to handle, but as soon as you would get any wind or you're using this in the real world driving, that is gonna be terrible to look through. It would look terrible on your paint. Um, the only thing that does as a benefit is it dries evenly. So one of the downsides of the hydrophobic surfaces is water spots. A hydrophilic surface would not have as many water spots because it's gonna be basically distributed over a much larger area. There's also some downsides to that because dirt is more able to stick to it. Uh, those minerals are gonna stick to it. There are benefits and reasons why we want hydrophobic coating. Now, now that we've talked about just the basic differences of beading versus sheeting, it gets a little bit more complicated and nuanced because there is hydrophobic sheeting with the same kind of energy, low energy surface that the beads happen, but there's more factors into it. So we're gonna do that on the hood to show you what you're more used to seeing with the paint being, you know, sheeting coating versus beading coating. Unlike the hydrophilic sheeting that we showed on the windshield, what we did on the hood right now is coated it with our hybrid ceramic car wash that has a sheeting layer on top. So this is what we're gonna really wrestle with today primarily is the hydrophobic beading versus hydrophobic sheeting. So just to get an example visually of what we're talking about, you can see very clearly this water break. Massive water going off all at once, and then that water breaking is very different from what we, sh we showed with the hydrophilic sheeting. That water would just stay there and stay wet. The, the water was very happy to be on that glass. Here we have a hydrophobic coating, again, primarily this outer coating of the car wash, is a, is a sheeting agent, but it is hydrophobic. So the water will wet out, it will evacuate quickly, but it wants to get off. It does not want to stay on that surface, which is why you see that break and that water flash off quickly. The majority of this hood is already dry without any towels, any you know uh, ego blowing, anything like that. You're, you're pretty much good to go. The benefit is lower risk of water spots. Again, that water evacuates. If there was soils or dirt uh, contaminants on there, those are gonna evacuate as well because again, that water does not wanna be on the surface. It wants to clear off. And the dynamics of the drop angle and the bead angle on that coating make it so that it doesn't wanna just stay in a bead form and sit there. It wants to evacuate the hood. So as you see this water breaking, you'll see unlike this section, which had the hydrophilic sheeting, when water breaks on a hydrophobic surface, it is completely dry. So 
So now you can see the benefit of having the hydrophobic sheeting on your car. What that does is really evacuates the water, prevents water spots, but a lot of people do like the look of beads. Uh, one of the benefits of the hybrid ceramic car wash is it does both. So that hydrophobic coating there is, is fairly sacrificial. So we're gonna blast this off for a little while, get that coating off, and then what's left is a more traditional hydrophobic coating that promotes beading. So we'll see that. So normally this, this sacrificial coating will wear off as you drive your car. So when you wash your car, it's easier to dry it. And then as you drive it and the next time it rains, you'll see beads. You can already see after just washing for a minute or two, um, a, a lesser tendency to clear all the water and more promotion of, of beads. Um, and that's what we normally see as more of a kind of beading surface. So when you come out and it's, it's rained, you're gonna see that they stand on the hood a little bit more. Um, now, right now it's kind of still transitional in between the sheeting and the beading, um, but that's gonna to continue to evolve as that coating goes away. But again, you can see now, if we would do that tissue, there's a lot of water standing here and it's not gonna necessarily break. And if that would dry on here, you are gonna get more, more likely of getting water spots. The surface is protected in both of these cases. So yes, the, the, the sheeting coating will help evacuate water. However, even with water spots on a hydrophobic coating, that paint and that clear coat is protected. So as long as you're taking care of your car, you're doing normal maintenance, that's not gonna be a long-term risk for your car as long as you're taking care of it. You know that it's protected. Personally, I like coming out to my car if it's been raining in a parking lot and seeing, you know, awesome perfect beads on the hood and on the spoiler in the back. Like, I just like that feeling, it's an aesthetic look. I don't want it to be flat on there because I want people to know that I take care of the car. Um, if you're a kind of person that doesn't do all that kind of maintenance regularly, then maybe a hydrophobic sheeting coating is better for you because it can be easier to maintain, easier to take care of. It's gonna take longer for things like the dirt and water spots to show up. So it's really a, a personal preference, but as long as that paint is protected, that's all we care about. That's what we want you to do. We want your cars looking great for years to come. So again, why is this topic more tricky than just sheeting versus beading? We're gonna get into that now. Right now you can see very clear, good beads on this side, not so much on that side. The problem there when you drive, if you're washing your car, water is going to stick to this surface on the far side a lot longer, things like dirt, pollen, debris, that's going to stick onto your car and dry. That's a no-go. Beads, the hydrophobic component, beading is good. You can see that water is quickly running off. If you're driving, it's gonna be flying off, no big deal. And you know that surface is protected. Now, uh, Rich, you can stop spraying, thank you. What, what's confusing here is changing nothing about the coatings changing the way the water interacts with the surface completely changes how we describe what's happening to the surface. So right now, if I'm describing kind of a dirty part of a hood versus a clean part with some protection, I might say the water's kind of sheeting off of that, but sticking and beating on this surface. Again, nothing differently to the surface, lots more water at the same time. Water is sheeting off of this side. Big deluge of water going across. And you can see the hydrophobic nature of it. This, self, this side is almost self-drying. Same coating that was just beading. This side looks like there's nothing going on, but that is still very much wet. And we can bring back our, our tissue demo. Staying wet, this is completely dried off. This is soaked and stuck to the surface. So this beading and sheeting is, is complex in a number of ways. Initially it's just, is water going off quickly or is it staying and sticking on your car? The, the difference with a hydrophilic sheet is that water is going to actually stick there. 
Now if we blow the surface off, where's our blower? We're gonna do this for visual. So whether it's beading or sheeting, when it's hydrophobic, you get much more of the water off. And if that's dirty water, if that's rainwater, if that's salt water, that's gonna get off of your clear coat and help keep that surface protected. Even after spending more time blowing the far side, it is still very much wet compared to this side. It's really a function of what kind of water is interacting with your surface. Compare that to a hydrophilic or a dirty surface where water is sticking around. Even if you have some misformed beads, they're going to tend to stick and stand. And that's just gonna attract dirt, attract soils. We don't want that. What's really important is, is your car protected? And knowing when somebody says sheeting, do they mean dirty, nasty film on your car or is lots of water evacuating off the surface? So there's another versus video. Sheeting versus beading. Hopefully this video showed that it's a little bit more than just hydrophilic versus hydrophobic. There's more nuance on that. What's most important is making sure your car is protected. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.